I'm going to be talking briefly about the uh, EMAC repair extension program for faulty capacitors on the 1 GHz and 1.25 GHz EMACs, eight of which I have and eight of which don't fall within that repair extension program anymore. The computer has to be less than three years old. The EMACs that I have are more than three years old, so I'm just stuck with dead EMACs. Um, but I'm just going to show you exactly uh, what that repair extension program uh, is replacing. If you see this right here, uh, these these capacitors right here, sorry for looking around, uh, these uh, capacitors right here are not faulty. This right here, you can see that it's bulging and there's a little bit of grease on that. The grease is bad. And then this here right here as well, two of which I've taken out, which was very, very, very difficult to do. Um, I didn't even get the solder. I just had to pry out the capacitors. Just putting new ones in is going to be very difficult to do. Uh, these two right here, near the memory slot, you'll probably see. You can probably see this one a lot better without taking out the motherboard. Uh, just pry out, pry out the, uh, pry up the, uh, the lid on the bottom, and you'll see these two right here. If these are bulging, then you know that uh, you got capacitor issues. Um, and this one right here as well. So about nine capacitors have to be changed for, I don't know if the repair extension program just pretty much swaps out with a whole new motherboard, um, but that's what but that's what it does. It either replaces out the capacitors or swaps out for a whole new motherboard with better capacitors. Uh, so that's uh, just pointing that out, just to let you know. I don't see anything about it on YouTube, so just throwing it out there if anybody really wanted to know. Uh, nothing exciting to say. I think I'm going to post a video about uh, school auctions and how they can benefit you. They've benefited me quite a bit, um, and I'm. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you why uh, and how they can uh, in my next video here. But uh, I'll see you all later then.